Thai basil fried rice. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Let's get our chicken marinating. One pound of evenly sliced chicken. Add one half teaspoon of fish sauce. One teaspoon of regular soy sauce. And just put that on the side. Next up, the sauce for the rice. Oyster sauce. One tablespoon of fish sauce. Half tablespoon of regular soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of sugar. Now for the spicy garlic paste. Grab your handy dandy mortar and pestle. Four whole cloves of garlic, one sliced red pepper. Shake most of the seeds out. Keep a few. Add to the bowl and mash, mash, spin and mash. You mash until the oils release and it becomes a delicious garlicky spicy paste. I'm gonna be super honest here. I really avoided getting a mortar and pestle for years. And after making the simple garlic and pepper paste, I get it. I suck. I definitely messed up. I understand the mortar and pestle because this little bit, this two tablespoons of paste added so much flavor to the rice. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do next with it. But anyway, this should take about two minutes of mashing, spinning, and further mashing. Okay, we're going to heat up some oil in a pot, add in our chicken. After a minute, when you can see the white around the outside, I'm going to give them all a flip so no pink is facing up. Give them another minute, and then we're going to push them all to the side. Add two cups of jasmine rice that we made yesterday. You want it to be dried out to get that perfect fried rice color and texture. My rice was from later on in the night, so it didn't get to fully dry out, but it's still A-OK -okay, USA. Break it up just a little bit if you have to. If it's fully day old, you can break it up with your hand before you add it to the pot. So it's good to go. It's much easier than using a spoon like me. Shift over the rice. We're gonna add our chili garlic paste to the chicken. Give them a few stirs and toss them around. Now we're gonna incorporate the chicken to the rice and we're gonna add all the good stuff. We're gonna add the sauce. Keep mixing and cooking, mixing and cooking. If you want the rice to be darker, you can add more oil to the pan before you add the rice. To, you know, fry it. Like fried rice, get it? Sorry. I gave a bonus tablespoon of hoisin for funsies. And now take your fresh basil leaves, give them a rip in half, and toss them in, kill the heat, mix until combined. And fill a bowl with the delicious rice and you're good to go. A lightly spicy, very flavorful dish. Even though it looks kind of light, it packs a ton of flavor and you get a really nice balance of heat, garlic, and that fresh basil just brings it to that next level. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tag me on Twitter if you tried this recipe or if you have anything else you want to see. Thank you for watching. I will see you all real soon.